New Jersey is the garden state for a reason. In fact, New Jersey was a top five producer in the country for nine different crops in 2020, according to the New Jersey Department of Agriculture. It is also home to several family farms who create a more modest harvest. Many of them are in Sussex County, where you can find acres of land and plenty of farm animals. Will Vaughn now owns a homestead farm with his family in Sussex County and does custom cropping to make a living. I grew up on my family's farm, uh, about 15 minutes from here in Lafayette. Uh, I would have been the eighth generation on a dairy farm. We all worked together on the farm, but then, you know, times got financially more difficult. My brothers and sisters grew up and went different ways, and so that kind of didn't pan out. So we ended up selling the cows, and then I went on to do some different things. One of the questions that I was asked is, do you ever feel like you're not going to be able to continue? And I think probably every single year, at least one point, I'm like, I don't know if I can do this for another year. In recent years, small farms have found it hard to keep their legacy going. Between the cost of resources like fuel and recent land development, family farms have struggled to make ends meet. Now, some New Jersey farmers are selling wholesale to grocery stores or creating agritourism attractions as an attempt to keep up with the harsh economy. Phil Brodicker's father started the Brodicker farm in 1969. Brodicker spent time learning from his father before going on to study agriculture at SUNY Cobleskill. I grew up on the farm and we were always active with the animals and the crops and the tractors and the equipment and fixing things and uh, you know I'd go to school during the day and I'd come back from school and start doing things on the farm. That's what we did. And we've been growing sunflowers um, and now we're starting to venture more into agritourism type of crops, pumpkins, uh, the sunflowers create a lot of draw for the uh, blooming season and then we started an apple orchard two years ago. Beef and sheep is for meat purposes. A lot of that gets processed at a, another um, slaughterhouse and is brought back here and sold on the farm. Despite the number of small or mid-sized farms slowly increasing compared to years before, farmers are experiencing a decline in income. Uh, as far as small farm profitability goes, it kind of mirrors small business in general. Now, year after year after year, things keep getting more expensive. The cost of labor is rising, the cost of goods are rising, but consumers don't want to accept the fact that the cost of food then has to rise. Farming in New Jersey is amazing and we don't get the recognition we deserve. Yeah. But every single thing that you and I eat is grown or produced on a farm by farmers in some way, shape, or form. For these New Jersey farmers, farming isn't just a job to them. It's also their livelihood. Keeping the farms active and growing quality food is the heart of New Jersey farming. To keep the heart beating during a time where costs are increasing, farmers must think outside the box to survive.